it's your girl Ty coming to you with another quarantine adventures with Johnson Cruz family business. This project is something so simple, quick to do. You're going to have some fun with your kids, setting it all up. It's a movie theater in your backyard. Why not? We're in quarantine. We can't go out. So why not have fun with the kids? And also, there's something you can do. You can put them outside and enjoy your inside with a little drink and drink or whatever you do, read a book, uh, whatever you do to unwind, clean a house, get a little piece, whatever. But this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be inexpensive, under $100, and it's going to be really, really simple, I promise. All you're gonna need is some PCP, PCP pipe <laughs> and a, a movie theater um projector or any types of uh, projector i bought this little cheap rca projector from walmart that does the trick and it and you you'll see it's it's crazy it's um, amazing so it was only about 60 dollars, and all the rest of the stuff will come from home depot and i'll let you know how to do it so i just want you to take a trip with me and see how we set it up and see how we set it up in our backyard and what we did. We watched um, Sonic the Hedgehog and some other things. So I just wanted to share this project with you guys. It's again, simple, it's fun, and it's something that will last a long time. On and you can actually use this as a backdrop. So all you moms and dads out here that's hustlers like I am, you can take this as and make it out of a fun movie theater in the backyard and you can use it as a backdrop. So when the parties start and you and everybody like, look, I need you to help me out with family parties, you know, mama's 50th, this one's graduation party, it can all be transitioned to a crazy and wonderful, beautiful backdrop. Just put some balloon garlands and some crazy fabric and you're done. But let's get to building our home theater. See ya. All right, so to get the projector screen, we're gonna use a king size sheet. The king size sheet here is at 108 inches by 102. So our screen needs to be about eight foot wide. That is approximately uh, 96 inches. So what we're gonna do with this sheet, we're not gonna do any too much of a measurement. You're just gonna fold it in half and just sew or bond down the side seams. And I'll show you that in just a second. Let's take our king size sheet. Unravel it, put it up here. And from this angle, from the back side to the other end on the opposite side, I'm gonna fold it in half. Fold it in half. Nice and neat. side to side remember that our stand is eight feet by four feet so we need to make sure that we are if everything fits inside of the stand properly and snug so we're gonna be measuring as you can see as you can see we have the fold from top to bottom inside out folded completely and what I did was just sewn here on the sides because it's not too much 
that I needed to cut off. So if you're going to get a Walmart brand sheet set to do this, just check the tags to see the size of it or the branding and the packaging, just check the size of it. Okay guys, and that is all we had to do was flip it in half and sew or bonds. Like I said, you can use hot glue gun. You can use yours. If you have a sewing machine, you can sew it. If you want to do it and take time and do it on your hand and seam it together, you can. But as you can see, we don't need that much. I went on ahead and sewn it down to the sides, okay? So on the, on the fold on the top, you don't need to do any seaming, any sewing, any bonding from the top or at the bottom. So this is gonna be like a, like a big pillowcase. All right, guys. Okay, so to create this projector screen, we have the uh, eight, two eight feet poles on the right side here. We have the two four feet poles, and then we have the six two feet um, poles in the middle. Also, we have the four T's, the two elbows, and the four caps to cap it off um, at the feet. So, now Darius is going to put it all together for us. I want to say right. something to you guys. Make sure that your piece for your elbows are not grooved and they are just the flat surface ones. There's two types. One with grooves that you screw in and one that is the flat type. So you are going to definitely need the flat type um, when, with this project. Okay, so now everything is diagrammed just the way you need to place them in fitting. Darius has the other elbow in his hand for the other side. So you see exactly how it's diagrammed for you to place all of the structure. Now, Darius is going to set it all up. Thank you. 